Now, let's take another example. If we have, in this case, a state space model where we just say xt is equal to the previous xt plus some noise, then we have obs observation here. Again, we just observe xt plus some noise. So both these noise pr processes are considered to be white noise with each their own variance. And that basically means that when you look at xt here, it's what it was before, plus a random number. That means what we have, what is the name for that process? Think of it for a second. Well, it is indeed a random walk. So we cannot say so much about it, but we know in this case we do not observe it directly. So we have this measurement noise. Now the question is, can we look at this and say, is that an Arima, stru uh, Arima structure? When we look at the pr process for YT there. Now, in order to do that, the hint to solve that is to not look at the direct process, but look at the first order derivative, as in Napta, taking the on yt, and then we do that on all elements, because it's a linear operator, so we can just do it on all elements. And then when we look at this expression here, and then take and look at, well, how does that couple with what we have up here? First of all, let's look at the equation for xt here. If we move xt minus 1 to the left-hand side, then we see that nabla xt... Oh, let me rewrite this. So we have xt equals xt minus 1 plus, and then we use eta t here. This is the same as xt minus xt minus 1 equal to eta t, and this is indeed the same as nabla xt. So that means that what we have up here is then that the difference operator on yt is equal to eta t plus the difference operator on epsilon t, which is epsilon t minus epsilon t minus 1. So now we've at least got part of the way. That's what we have up here. Now, when we look at this process, one thing we can do to identify the order is to look at the autocorrelation function for this, defined to be 1 for like 0, and for like 1, there's a dependence coming from this epsilon t minus 1 here. I won't go through the calculations. And we can also see that when the time shift is greater than 1, there is no overlap. In and since it's wide noise processes, the correlation structure is 0. So based on this, we should be able to identify which model structure it is. So we only have information at lag 1 in the ACF, so it's a moving average model of order 1. But is that for the difference yt? So it becomes an IMA 1,1 or ARIMA 0,1,1 model for this. So we can also write it on this form. And then if we look at the parameters in this model, we have the theta and we have the variance of the other var epsilon there. We can do the autocorrelation function for, for both, or covariance function, for both uh, model structures, and we can equal what they are at the different lags. And then what we see here is when we solve this equation, we have two unknowns, the theta 1 and sigma uh, epsilon square here, then we see that it only depends on the variances in the state space formulation. So the coefficients here comes from the covariance parameters in the state space formulation.